Hello and welcome to Terrestrial's Features. Today's video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin will be Vicora. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin is going to be Vicora, which is the newest level up quest pack from this season, chapter 4, season 3. As, as it says here, it says Vicora included with purchase of Vicora's level up quest pack. Umbra style unlocks un unlocks upon completing all 28 quests, all quests available until August 25th. So the second edit style is this one here, Umbra. As it's mentioned, 28 quests has been completed. And you also have accessories. So I decided to make 10 combos for the standard edit style. But once I do unlock the Umbra edit style, I decide to make combos for that as well. Let's get into the first combo. Obviously, it's cost 1,200 like every other level quest pack, which is always a steal in my opinion. You get a skin with multiple edit styles and you know a wrap and all that good stuff. And you also obviously get 28 levels if you get the challenges done. So not too bad. And this skin is pretty cool in my opinion. It's a part of the Shadow Walker set introduced in Chapter 4 of Season 3. I decided to make most of my combos with black. No, not black, sorry, purple. So I couldn't really combo. I had black and purple on most of the combos. So I couldn't really get any other colors to work nicely. But the first combo is a Dark Series themed combo. Back bling is the Dark Shield, which is part of the Fortnite set introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. But you can use any of the Dark Series back blings to work nicely. Pickaxe just had to be the Dark Axe. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. Umbrella is the Umbrella of the Last Reality, which is part of the Cube set, and it's a Victor Isle Glide from Chapter 2, Season 8. If you don't have this, just use any other Umbrella or Glider. That is purple themed, would work nicely. The Contrail for all combos is Glyphs, which is part of the Lightning and Thunderstorm set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7, using it for purple. And the wrap is Kevin, which was introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. Let's move on to the second combo. For this one, I decided to go for a Galaxy theme. Back bling is a Dimensional Gate, which is part of the Teen Titans set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6 as Battle Pass. And this is Rebirth Raven's back bling from that season. But if you do have the Galaxy skin, you could use his back bling. Or if you have the female, basically Galaxy skin. Can use that one from pretty store is it, is it the star scout yeah, maybe not <laughs> but either way if you have the female galaxy skin you can use her back would work nicely pickaxe is the axe trail form which is part of the teen titans set in season chapter two season six is about to pass and this is also part of the same set and it's rebirth raven's pickaxe if you don't have this, just use any other purple or galaxy theme pickaxe would work nicely. And the wrap is Nebulark, which was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. Similar to the backbring pickaxe, if you don't have this wrap, just use anything galaxy themed or purple themed would work nicely. Let's move on to the next combo. For this one, I decided to use a set of wings, and the wings I decided to use was the Fallen Wings, which is part of the Royale Heart set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7. And it's a Dark Series backbling, and it's the Fallen and Love Rangers back bling works very nicely for the purple that's mainly the reason i'm using it pickaxe is a cat woman's grappling claw part of the batman zero point set introduced in chapter two season six I've used this mainly for the black so i could combo it with the wrap which is the gemstone which is part of the 24k set introduced in chapter one at season eight's battle pass and this is lux's weapon wrap from that season using it for the purple and the black works very nicely that's why i decided to use the cat woman's grappling claw for the black let's move on to the next combo for this one, I decided to use Cypher PK's back bling, which is the Oni's Curse, which is part of the Cypher PK set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. And I'm using the Reactivity Full Reactive, so obviously just fully purple, works very nicely. Pickaxe is the Ash Glow Blade from the Chapter 4, Season 2 Battle Pass, part of the Luminaries set. And this is Mystica's pickaxe from that season, and I'm using the edit style of the Ash Glow Blade because it has purple and it's black as well. It has a little bit of pink as well, but I mainly use it for the purple and the black. And the wrap I decided to use is a Maximum Drift, which is from the Chapter 1 Season X's Battle Pass. And this is part of the Drift set and works very nicely with the purple. Now, I like to use this wrap a lot when I use the Oni's Curse. I just find it works very nicely. Let's move on to the next combo. For this one, I decided to use the back bling, the Ominous Orb, which is part of the Overseer set. Introduced in Chapter 1 Season 4. Using it, as you probably guessed it, for the purple. Pickaxe is the Cypher Scimitar, which is Cypher PK's pickaxe. And I'm using the full reactive, similar to the background I used in the previous combo. Just using it for the black and the purple. And the wrap 
is the Storm, which is from the Chapter 1 Season 9 Battle Pass, part of the Storm Stalker set. And this of this wrap is animated, obviously, like, like a storm, as you see, like, um, it's like a storm going off in the garment, which is pretty cool. I haven't used this in a while, but it's a very good wrap, in my opinion. The black and the purple. Let's move on to the next combo. For this one, I decided to use the back bing, the Avery, which is part of the Witching Wing Witching Wing set in season chapter 3 season 1 I'm not really too sure what skin this backpin came with but either way I'm using it because it's got purple it's got black and the feathers are actually a pretty cool touch to the backpin itself it actually works way better than I thought it was going to looks pretty cool pickaxe is the black star edge which is from the chapter 4 season 1's level up quest pack which is the or part of the celestial guard set which I'm pretty sure it's the celestial guard level up quest pack as it says in the description you've got this pickaxe to complete 21 quests so if you did that before March 8th, 2023, you'd have it. I'm using this for the mainly for the purple. And the wrap is part of the same level of quest pack. And you got it for completing 14 quests. So I'm using it just because it goes very nicely. The purple is purple is the main reason I'm using it. Purple and the black. Because the back bring has a little bit of black on it. Works nicely. Now let's move on to the next combo. For this one, I decided to go for the FNCS style combo. And the FNCS backbling I decided to use is the Badge of Glory, which is part of the FNCS set in Shoes Chapter 4 Season 1. But you can also use the Badge of Honor, would work nicely, or you could even use the Champion's Total. If you want to have a elimination count or a backbling that counts your eliminations. Or you could even use an OG one, which is basically the foam finger or the um finger. Uh, where is it to? But this one here, the number one, and just whack it in purple, would work nicely. But either way, the one I'm using is Badge of Glory. Pickaxe is the champion. Bally Song, part of the FNCS set from Chapter 3 and Season 4. Many use this for the purple, and then wrap is the Tie Dye Abyss, which is one of the, which basically is Tie Dye Skin's weapon wrap, which was introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. And for this one, obviously, to change the colour, you have to basically change your banner. And I'm using this purple here, right there. You can also use one to the right, or you can use one up here as well. Second row would work nice, but I decided to use one on the fourth row. On the fourth row, the second one across. That's one I decided to use. I find it works the best, but you can use whichever purple you like. It gives it a nice black and purple. Let's move on to the next combo. For this one, I decided to use the Celestial Shell, which is from the level quest pack from Chapter 4, Season 1. You've got this for getting seven quests done. Use the purple and the black. Pickaxe is the Cat Claws which is part of the Gotham City set in Shooting Chapter 1, Season X. And this is one of the... This is not Cat Catwoman. It's the standard Catwoman's pickaxe. I always use the Catwoman Zero's pickaxe, which is this one here, the Grappling Claw. I haven't used these pickaxes in ages, so I've got one at Wacom. They've got black, they've got purple. And the wrap I'm using is Midas Shadow, which is part of the Fortnite Mares 2020 set in Shooting Chapter 2, Season 4. It's basically a Halloween event in... 2020 Fortnite Mares. If you've got challenges done, you've got this wrap. It's a very good wrap in my opinion. Works very nicely with this combo. Let's move on to the second last Bakura skin combo. I decided to use the back bling Astro World, which is part of the Travis Scott set in Shooting Chapter 2, Season 2. And I'm using the default edit style, mainly for the purple. Obviously, I wonder if Travis Scott does come back. So I know his newest al album, Utopia, came out. Pretty short on Friday and yesterday, by the time me uploading this, so it'd be interesting to see if they do if he does ever come back. If he does, do they give him another edit style for his new album? Do we not know? Either way, using the standard edit style, pickaxe is a fantastic pulse, part of the boundless set in season chapter two, season four. And I'm using the style cosmic edge with the primary colour purple and then the secondary colour black. And this is basically the customized drone superhero skins pickaxes. And obviously, it's probably one of my favourite pick iron drop pickaxes I have. You've got so many variety of colours and designs you can make. And the wrap I'm using for this combo is the is the Luminary Luxury part of the star of the show set in Shooting Chapter 4, Season 1. Using it for the purple and the black. So it's actually got quite a nice design in the middle of the gun as well. But I'm mainly, mainly using it for the purple and the black. In the final combo, I decided to use the back thing, which is this one here, the Adira's Battle Flag from the Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass, and it's Adira's Back Flag, part of the Dragon Rider set. And I'm using the Adira's Battle Flag edit style. It's got purple, it's got black. Pickaxe is the Omni Sword from the Chapter 3, Season 2 Battle Pass, part of the Qatar Tech set. And I'm using Top Blade, Hyper Strike, Guard Ceremonial, Bottom Blade, Hyper Strike, and the pickaxe type is Dual Wield. But obviously, you can use the emote to change it in game to Dual Wield, Single Wield, either way. Obviously, with the design of the Omni Sword itself, you just choose whatever design you like. The color is the Amethyst. You can also use the Ultraviolet. Either of those 
with that nicely. Hand style is just Omni Sword, and then the style is Jagged Power, similar to, similar to the design. Just use it whichever one you like. And then the wrap I'm using is the Horizons Cool, part of the Luminary set in Shooting Chapter 4, Season 2's Battle Pass. And this is Mystica's weapon wrap from that season. Mainly using it for purple. It's probably my favourite weapon wrap from Chapter 4, Season 2. And that has all the skin combos done for the Vakora skin, which is obviously from the Vakora's level quest pack from this season, Chapter 4, Season 3. As I did mention yesterday, I'll most likely be picking up the skin, which is this one right here, the Elite Striker Sophia. At some point, I'm not sure when, when I have enough feedback, so I don't have enough yet. But if, if I do, I'll probably be making comments off all that skin at some point. But I obviously do have quite a few suggestions to get done. So if you do have any suggestions, cosmetic-wise, feel free to let me know. It could be skin, back bling, pickaxe, glider, slash umbrella, contrail, even weapon wrap. Feel free to let me know. If I have it, I'll make sure to get it done. If I don't, always feel free to leave another comment down below. If I have that one, I'll make sure to get it done as soon as I can. But anyways, that's pretty decent.